We here at Weird America prove once again that one person's junk is another person's art, or vice versa. I'm a, a junk keeper. I'm a junk collector. That's what it's all about. No, can't tell you nothing about it because I don't know how long I've been collecting them or anything of that sort. All I've been just collecting buttons, and they're there from God knows from where and when. It's a collection of junk. That's but, but, but you've now, arranged it in such a way. I don't know nothing about arranging. Listen, I've got a man upstairs that put things in. I go pick up some stuff and I put it wherever he tell me to put it. The university's coming over here. Really? Yeah. Art department? Yeah. This here is one of the instruments that I. I call myself Invenny. Uh huh. Okay. That's a base foot. That's a base gas tank. Not you gonna call it a gas tank, man. Don't insult instrument like that. See this this calendar here. This calendar here is uh, tells about different things that happen in the black community. We were freed in '62. But the news didn't get to Texas until 65. Huh? That was two, two years, two years longer. I wasn't here, but somebody else was here. This guy here is the guy that make y'all stop at all those stoplights. Uh -huh. That's the man. It's the guy that I knew personally. This is Frank Mann. His little train goes on. Guess where it is? Where? Smithsonian. I must have 50 or 75 of these things collected with black history on it. Yeah. Mr. Williams, if you could tell the whole world something yeah. right now, what would you tell them? I'd tell them be at peace. He don't want us to be warring against each other, one another, that's what I say. Be at peace, then you could rest at night, man.